Hello everyone! It's me again, Alona. So we're doing research again today dahil may mga estudyante talaga na nag-message sa akin at nagtatanong talaga ng specific uh, research na makakatulong sa 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 inyo sa how you gonna formulate your title and go and progress your research. So, I've chosen another topic ngayon na very common because of this pandemic. So, i-share ko sa inyo kung paano kayo uh, mag-start on how you're gonna start your title, your introduction, sa method ng research nyo, at how you can do your discussion and your conclusion. So, I've chosen a topic na very common ngayon, na magagawa nyo, ma you, you can... Uh, get an information that you can apply it to what you're doing right now in your research. No. So, I've chosen a title, Students' Challenges in Blended Learning. So, because of pandemic ngayon, we have blended learning, meaning we have the in-house class and we have, uh, no, we have the uh, classroom, half classroom, learning and also we have the online learning so dito sa western country we have uh, blended learning the students goes to school two or three hours a day and then they go home early and then um, they do the online learning as well so that's we call blended learning at the end ginagamit then i know so that at philippines you are also doing blended learning in some places i guess so Kaya ko pinili itong topic na to. Kasi very easy to relate kung related sa education yung topic ninyo. So, why I'm choosing this? Kasi maraming mga factors uh, to consider kung ano yung mga challenges na na-experience ngayon ng mga estudyante. So again, remember what I mentioned to you na when you choose a topic, it should be a topic of a good experience because when you have a good experience, you can relate to it at kaya mong i-formulate kung anumang paragraph na gusto mong i-state depending kung gaano kakagaling sa concept mapping mo. So, so um, if I'm gonna use a research or term paper on this blended learning or the challenge, student challenges in blended learning, I'm gonna start in my introduction Stating the problem. Ano ba talaga yung mga problem na experience or mga challenges na experience ng mga estudyante? I-state ko yun. I can do it in a one paragraph. And then the supporting body is going to be in the th second or third paragraph. Okay? Depending kung, and depende kung gaano, how, how long the pages or your return paper or research that the teacher is asking you. So just give you the hint. Um, wag kang sobra-sobrang magdagdag ng information na hindi mo kayang uh, mag-provide ng evidence-based research of that paragraph that you're creating. Kasi, dyan ka babagsak pagdating ng chapter 2 sa related literature mo na wala kang ma-follow up dun sa sinasabi mo. So, there's always, uh, para ka bang nasa, when you're, when you're writing your research, parang ini-imagine ko ba, uh, when you're writing your research, para kang nasa harapan ng isang sa korte, sa abo, sa harapan ng judge. Pag may sinasabi ka sa judge, kailangan bigyan mo ng proof. Ganon din ang pagsulat ng related literature. Kung may sasabihin ka, you need to have an evidence-based research na makapag-follow up, makapag-proof doon sa sinasabi mo. Or else, Tada! Si teacher lalagyan ka agad ng question mark yan. Ganun naman ang teacher, di ba? Minsan, pagkulang, question mark. So, you know what I mean? When you are doing your, your related literature, lahat ng sinasabi mo, make sure you can prove it. Because, when you're doing your defense, pag nag-defense ka na, guess what? Mga ngamote ka, mga ngapa ka, kasi wala kang proven evidence-based research na makapag-back up sa'yo Doon sa sinasabi mo, doon sa paragraph na yun. So, just a hint, kasi talagang mahirap mag-defend ng thesis kung hindi ka ready, okay? But if you're ready at all, then, then wala kang problema, okay? So, 
When you do a research such as challenges of students in online learning, to make your research a success, you need to have learning goals. Okay? Kailangan ma-achieve mo yung learning goals mo. Kung ang, ang gusto mong malaman yung mga challenges ng students, you need to make sure that your learning goals is achieved by what? Achieve on based on the methods of research that you're doing. So, again, there are so many methods that you can do. Either you can um, do an interview of the students. Bak paano sila nag-struggle? You can also do a survey via online or virtual. Anything, any method you can use to get those learning goals, to get those ideas that you can support when you write your related literature. Kasi yung mga statement ng mga ina-interview mo, kailangan doon mo ilagay yun sa related literature mo with your research follow-up based information. Okay? So, I know it sounds complicated, pero gagabayan ko kayo. Kaya ginagawa ko to, gagabayan ko kayo. So, if this is your topic, <laughs> the challenges of students and online learning, you need to know the six aspects of blended learning environments. So, ano yung six Anim na aspeto, tama ba tagalog ko? Anim na aspeto ng blended learning environment. What are those aspects na i-discuss mo sa topic na to? Number one, classroom learning. Classroom learning. Yun ang i-discuss mo. Number two, online learning. So, pag, so when you do this aspect, you need to uh, define, compare, State what are the advantages. State what are the disadvantages. So, advantages of classroom, disadvantages of classroom, advantages of, of online, disadvantages of online. Of, of, of online. Now, the third aspect is the online interaction. So, did you get lots of online interaction? And what are those interactions? There's so many chat rooms, discussion forums, podcasts, what else? I think you know better than me uh, about this new new tech, new ways of communication or discussion. So those are online interactions. So you state them, you define them. What are they? Another thing is technology. So do you have any challenges with technology? Low internet, low Wi-Fi connection, no money to pay for my uh, net, internet cafe. Um, things like that. So number five is learning flexibility. Ano ba ang mas flexible? Classroom learning or online learning? Why? So, again, the question why, why, why that I taught you in the previous video is very important that you can um, uh, do a good progress when you're writing, when you're asking the question why. And that was, and the last aspect of blended learning is learning management. Why? Paano nyo ba minamanage yung study nyo online? Paano nyo ba minamanage yung study nyo classroom? Do you have time to rest? Do you have time to eat? Do you have time for yourself? Do you really enjoy what you're doing uh, when you're doing uh, your online or blended learning? So all these things will go in the learning management. How, how you um, cope? How you engage yourself? How you motivate yourself. This is managing thing. Your time, your learning, your studying. So there's six aspects of blended learning environment is very important if you're doing this research. So, ang pinaka problema nyo lang, if you have no backup information or resources that you can utilize, dito sa um, learning modules na to na, na binibigay ng mga teachers nyo if you cannot uh, if you have no engagement and no understanding of what you're doing then it can really affect yung six aspects ng blended learning environment so sana may natutunan naman kayo 
about writing your research. Ipagpatuloy ko to. Just follow me. Uh, share my videos para makakatulong din kayo sa iba niyong mga kaklase o kaibigan. Make sure you subscribe. Put your questions or comments down below and I promise that I will answer them. And I hope na hindi kayo magsasawang uh, magpa-follow sa akin. Thanks again for watching and have a really nice day. Please take care of yourself. Take care of your brain. Make sure you eat healthy, especially this coming pandemic. Because it's so hard to study when your brain is tired, when your stomach is hungry. I know marami mga estudyante ngayon nagihirap sa buhay because of this pandemic. But you know what? I've been there. I've never thought that I'm going to be a successful educator, that I'm going to be a successful nurse, that I'm going to be a successful so-and-so. So I've been there. So if I did it, you can do it too. So I hope. You learned something. Bye for now and see you again in my next video.